Jonathan Chung is right here in studio with oh, us. Oh, great segue. You like that? Huh? <laughs> you guys are <laughs> the masters of that. <laughs> hey, we're talking uh, Jerusalem artichokes. And uh, let's start uh, with the beginning. You brought a few recipes. Let's start yeah. with the, the artichoke itself. When I when you first came in, I thought you brought ginger in. Lots of it. I think you weren't the only one. I think like oh, good. Thank three you. or four people came in and were like, ginger? I'm like, no, <laughs> it's not ginger. These are Jerusalem artichokes. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, they are not, not from Jerusalem. They're not from there? They are also not related to an artichoke. Okay, so... Um, how it got that name, there are many different stories, but it is actually more related to a potato. Okay. Um, and I've always, well, been teaching, because... I've always been teaching people that you can use it in, in place of a potato. You treat it exactly the same way. Great in soups, uh, really great to roast. Mm. Um, like, you're, you're trying one. They well, don't like have... The, it's kind of like radish. It, it, it has a texture like radish. of radish, very mm. crunchy. In, in this case, we're having it raw. And okay. unlike potatoes, mm. uh, that you don't want right. to really eat raw, these you can eat raw very nicely. Very common uh, in Italian uh, cooking to okay. just shave them really thin, make a... Let's like get to the recipes because I wish we could be talking about this for hours and it's we all could. looks delicious. So let's get to it. Okay. Uh, first thing first, we're going to do a very simple raw Jerusalem artichoke uh, salad. Okay. So what we're going to do is very simply take um, our mandolin right here, and you want to be really careful with this. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you can, use the guard. Okay. Many fingers have been lost. Uh, okay. So we're going to shave it really, really nice and thin on the, Dru on the uh, mandolin, just like okay. that. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to just lay them out on, the, on a plate, amount. plate. Very simple. We're going to season with a little bit of salt. We're going to mm -hmm. season with a little bit of pepper. All things We're gonna, uh, simple so far. Uh, if you want, you can toss it in a little bit of olive oil. Okay. We're going to take uh, a little bit of lemon as well and dress it with just a little bit of lemon, just like that. And then this is where you want to pull out some really good quality olive oil. Uh, for some, taste. For taste. Something okay. earthy that'll match it. So we're going to get a bit a of little... a strong taste because when I just had it here, uh, a sip like that, it's not a strong taste. It uh... is not, but they do grow underground, so it does okay. have this earthiness to it. A uh, little bit of that, a little bit of parsley. Boom. Boom. And then just for uh, uh, to match the earthiness, we're going to get some hazelnuts just on top like that. And this is a great simple refreshing salad that you can throw on the table two seconds to prepare simple refreshing and as you said it's so simple even i can do it guys even so you this, can do this it. is a very good indicator also i was mentioning before you can treat these like uh uh like a potato so they make really great soup so That's here right. i have a jerusalem artichoke soup uh, and this is more of a creamy uh, type soup, right? Well, it looks creamy, but there's no cream to it mm, added great. to it. So pureed, uh, uh, cooked down, and we're going to add a little bit of cream spinach to this. So this is spinach mixed up with a little, that's I sauteed in butter, okay. and, uh, mixed with a little bit of creme fraiche, garnished with a little bit of parsley, really right. nice starter to a dish. Here I have some braised uh, sausage and Jerusalem and artichoke. And this is, this is the piece de resistance. Really delicious, here. one pot meal, uh, really great on this rainy morning or cloudy morning cloudy That's morning rainy sunny. day yesterday but sunny. what i see here the difference is you have them in chunks so yeah we're good we i just cut them right in That's half right. cook them down with some mushrooms a little bit of lemon that gives it a nice acidity uh and and any kind of sausages that you like simmer that for about 20 minutes and you got a one pot ready meal. Delicious. Jonathan Chung, thank you so much. Always a great time plus amazing ideas here with the Jerusalem Rudders chokes which unfortunately are not from Jerusalem or or not from the artichoke family. So let's call them sunchokes. Let's call them sunchokes. Related to a sunflower. The sun's coming. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appetite for books, guys. And don't forget to check it out and go on location. It is amazing. Plus, you get to see this guy.